Hello guys, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Jess and welcome back to my channel. As you know today that I don't look as poppin' as my first two videos that I've uploaded. It's only because that today's video is going to be a bit more chilled and laid back where I'm just going to be talking about my experience in Japan. Well, experience slash the perks. Yeah, just to point out the five things that I really liked in Japan. I went in February and I went to Tokyo mainly. Um, I didn't go to any other cities because we were there for only like a week. So I've actually taken notes in case I forget anything. I just put down five things that I really liked in Japan and yeah. So let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is ice cream. Tokyo, honestly, the crepes that I've had in Harajuku, I still remember how good it was. This may be over dramatic, but come on. I'm a very picky person. If I eat something that I really like, I feel like a lot of people will like it. Because I'm very picky with like the texture of the ice cream and also what it's mad. The crepe was like a a crepe with ice cream in the middle and they had strawberries, blueberries and some whipped cream and also a uh, strawberry puree and that thing was bomb. It's in Takashita Street. Yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, it was in the middle of that street and that crepe place. The, oh, there's a few crepe stores that sell crepes, but that was the first one that I've been to. And the next few food places that are also good. So we went to this place that had um, a lot of sushi restaurants where it was more like fresh tuna, fresh salmon, and like really fresh seafood there. And we went to this one restaurant and my brother told me it was very popular. So once we got there, it was very, very, very packed. It had a long line and we waited for around like half an hour. And then once we sat down, we sat right in front of where they make the sushi. And it was so funny because we were all waiting and we were just staring at... So me, I was sitting in the middle, my dad and my brother sitting on my right. We were just watching them make it. And every time they like put a plate in front of us, we assumed that it was ours and we got excited. But actually it was for someone else and we were just like, oh. But once it was, when we got our sushi, it was really exciting. So we just kept taking so much fun. So the sushi that we had was very typical, like the salmon, the squid, the fish. Um, there's a few more, but I don't really remember because... I just ate the one that I always get. So besides the food in any restaurants, I must say the 7-Eleven in Tokyo, or I'm pretty sure in all, like, in all 7-Eleven places in Japan is really good. I don't think I've ever walked into a 7-Eleven that prepared for me to shop at. Like, And the last food that I'm mainly going to target is the strawberry mochi dessert. So it was like a mochi and it had a strawberry in the middle. And for some reason that combination was really nice. And also it was like a plain mochi with a strawberry and it had like Nutella in it. But I didn't really eat the Nutella because I don't really like Nutella. Don't get offended or don't hate it because I don't like Nutella but it's just not my favourite, you know? Um, Yeah, so that was really good. The strawberry and the mochi combination was bomb. It was, it was on fire. Mm -hmm. I, you know, that was 
some good ass strawberry mocha I've ever had, you know? Yeah. The second thing that I really like in Japan is their... When I went in, they had a lot of skincare and makeup and they have a variety of brands. Um, I bought a lot of face masks because it was good brand and it was also like the price wasn't that expensive so I bought so much and when I brought it to China I think my luggage gained like 10 kilos just because of the face mask because I bought like the bulk ones let me show you an example so one of them were like this size but then um, I only got like two of these so the other one I've already finished it because it had like a 50 face mask inside that one bag um, that was really good, it smelled really good, but it didn't really fit my face shape. Like literally the chin part would come all the way down to my neck and then the eyes were like down here. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. But overall the face mask was good, I used it every night. And yeah, it, it doesn't dry out even though you may think so once you open it. But as long as you keep the seal closed, it's all good. And I got some face wash. Uh, moving on to makeup, I uh, bought a lot of makeup as well. So within that 10 kilos, it was makeup, face mask, and facial cleansers. Those stuff really like packed my luggage out. And now I kind of regret that I packed so much clothes. Like I bought more there than I needed to bring on here. I went to Etude House where they had like it's mainly on cosmetic, and I bought some. Makeup. Moving to the third thing that I really liked about Japan. Um, so the third thing is the transport that they have. Like, I don't think I've ever liked sitting in a train that much besides in Tokyo. The fourth thing that I really liked in Tokyo was the hotel that we were in. I don't know if all the hotels are the same. In terms of the environment, it was really good. Um, inside and also the outside. Um, outside wise it was very quiet at night and I was able to sleep really well and inside wise it was very clean it was very nice the toilet was so cool like you can wash your butt you know you see those videos where people actually like film the experience of like oh pressing the washing butt thing but you know for me I find that gross I don't really like doing it because it feels funny that it's something shooting up your way so I'm like no thank you um, and also every morning at 9 o'clock around there someone comes and knock on your door and then be like hello and then we'll just know that they come in to help us change the blankets to help us change the robes and change the toilets um, necessities like toothbrush, toothpaste uh, hair ties and all that stuff so it's really nice and the fifth thing that I really liked about Tokyo was their bathrooms oh my god this might sound so weird like why the heck do you like their bathroom just a bathroom where you go to the toilet one or two and you're out but after all my experiences to different toilets that I've been to in Japan they were crazily so cool like there's this bathroom that I went to in I forgot where it was, but literally you, it was, oh no, it's like in a department store, right? They had like, like the high-end shopping places like Gucci and like, um, LV, I think. But anyways, went to the toilet and then like, they literally, I'm not even being, oh no, that's like, that's like I'm not being overdramatic, but they literally have a garden. Right, not even like a little garden where they got little plants or whatever, but a literally massive garden where like they have like a fountain in the middle and then like garden like plants around it and like the um, the water is just flowing everywhere. And I was like, what the heck? You're literally going to the toilet and then they'll have like a freaking garden for you. I'm like, what? This is so cool, but also crazy. And also um, when we were on a hike. I'm um, looking at like some, well I like this temple or something and on the way walking like you have to walk through this really long path to get to the center of the temple but on the way there like halfway there's this bathroom 
you go inside and then the doors are like sliding but it's not the one where it just goes straight but it goes around you so it's basically you're in a like the toilet was round not rectangle and music in the bathroom because for me I don't really like hearing other people pee or when I pee I don't like people hearing me pee but then they play music and that was nice I thought that was amazing yeah I love how like I end this video on like a bathroom perks I don't know but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching I might have ended this video on a really weird note where I talk about why I like the bathroom in another country but honestly that was really cool and yeah just got to include that in my five top things that I like in Japan anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and turn your post notification on so when I upload my next video which is hopefully next week or coming weekend and yes thank you guys so much for watching bye bye